Hey guys, uh, welcome to Interview Nest. So today's interview question is how to create a copy of an array, basically create a duplicate array in JavaScript. That's a simple question. Um, I would consider it as an entry level question. So if an interviewer wants to gauge where you are before they start asking tough questions, they would ask something like this, sort of like an array manipulation question. Uh, this question has multiple answers. You can use simple loop or something to do that, or you can use some of those latest ES6 syntax uh, to do that. So let's look at it. All right, so let's create an array. So I'm gonna say let A equal to, uh, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, you know, four element. It doesn't matter what kind of array it is, as long as it's an array. So what is really uh, mean by creating a copy of an array? Um, can I just simply do this? Can I create an array called B and say B equal to A? So the answer is no, um, I can't do that because in JavaScript, arrays are reference kind of objects, which means um, when I do B equal to A, I'm just setting a reference of A to B which means if I change A, B would change as well. But we don't want that. So let's say if I add an extra element to A, so if I say uh, push five, which means I'm adding a new element to A, if I console log B, so if I run this, I would say that extra element here. So we don't want this. What we want is really a copy so if i change a b should not be changing so the simple way to do it is we can create an empty array first of all um, and you can do it this way and once we have an empty array we can take element by element and use push method uh, to push that element into b so we we will have we will have to write a for loop uh, so we can say let i equal to zero uh, i less than a dot length and i plus plus and all we have to do is b dot push a i so that should simply push all the elements into b so if i console log it console log B and run it, I would get all the elements here. So this is, you can also use while loop if you want to, uh, but the simple, simpler way of uh, doing this is using the ES6 syntax or ES2015 syntax. And the way to do it is simple. I would uh, use objects assign method. So it's an object dot assign and I would First have an empty array, and I would simply just say A. And that should simply create a duplicate of A. So if I console log it, I would get you know, all the elements here. Uh, so what really happens here? So in JavaScript, object with capital O is a master constructor, and it has lots of methods. One of the methods is assign. And what it does is basically on the left side, the argument, whatever the argument is, it sets the, it will copy what's in the, on the right side to the left side. And, and basically in the process, it creates a copy. So that's what it does. You can actually uh, print objects to see its method that is available. I would have to say console log dir. When I do that, I would have lots of methods and there are most of them are very useful. So I would, I would highly suggest to just go through them and see how it works. And you can see here, uh, one of them is assign. Another way to do it is using a spread operator and spread operator is pretty simple. So the way you would do is you have already an array A and if I, do three dots and a which means this part and if i put a square bracket around it then i have created a copy 
very simple. Console log this, I should have a nice array. Now again, when you make a copy in JavaScript, um, this is called shallow copy. Shallow copy means I'm just copying the elements of the array. Now if element has a prototype, it does not do anything with it. So it's not a deep copy. So the, the difference between deep copy is deep copy also copies a prototype of the object as well. What we, we, we are not doing that here. So you need to tell everything about this topic so that interviewer would know that you have much deeper knowledge than the other candidates. So they'll pick you. All right, so I'll show you two, uh, three, three ways to do it. Now, let me know if you know a better way or optimal way than what I have done here. I would love to know and my viewers love to know as well.